Hi everyone, this is the fellow passenger speaking. This is my last video of 2022. I wasn't sure I was going to have time to do this video, but I thought maybe just a short one. I may not teach you anything particular in this video, I'm just going to make some ambient noises and maybe just talk to you a bit. First, I would like to say a big thank you to Phil2kx who went for the next tier up on my Patreon, which awards you with a shout out. Um, then I would also like to give a big shout out to Point Source Arts, who will be releasing my new album. The release date is um, the 6th of January, which I think is Friday next week. And I will be giving away a bunch of download codes. So whoever is a subscriber to my Patreon and who sends me a message on Monday, which is the 2nd of January, the 10 first people who sends me a message on Patreon, um, being a subscriber, I will give you a download code. I'm not sure the code will work on the 2nd, but the very latest it's going to work for you on the 6th of January, so you can take part in uh, listening to my new music and it's certainly not going to be as ambient as this um, um and yeah a really big shout out to point source our arts who discovered me on instagram a couple of years ago when i was um doing my first stint of 100 days of posting one minute's worth of music. And maybe that's a little bit what I want to talk about in this video. Um, I would say that music making is one of my oldest hobbies. But it's also the one that I have perhaps struggled with the most. And I think for different reasons. And then there have been different events during my music exploring that has resulted in some form of progress. But one big thing that I would like to address is um, um, The fact that sometimes it seems like no one could care less about your um, your music. Um, I've certainly felt that. I grew up in a very small town in Sweden where generally Punk music was the thing to listen to. Um, and yes, there were some people interested in electronic music, but the more niche you went, the less people sort of liked it. And we were a small group of people who enjoyed electronic music, but I also think most of us liked different kinds of electronic music, but we sort of stuck together because we all were the sort of outsider um, clique of electronic music listening. And therefore, listening to things like IDM, it, it's been sort of quite solitary in a way. And it's also one of those um, pieces, those things that are 
quite difficult to justify, um, even though it's not IDM, but this little story kind of sums up um, what I am trying to say. I was maybe, I don't know, it must have been around 91, maybe 92, something like that. I had bought the Prodigy's first full-length album, Experience. And we were, my brother, who is 11 years older than me, he had a very young son at the time. He was, I don't know how old he was, he was maybe like five or something. And I had played it to him. And he liked it. I think probably mainly because I was the cool older uncle perhaps and I had recorded the CD onto a cassette and we were in the car it was my parents in other words my nephew's grandparents and myself in the car and my nephew really wanted to put the prodigy on in the car yeah I know this is not IDM but still and my father's reaction to it was like have you paid actual money for this? Uh, <laughs> what do you say to that? Like, obviously, there was a sort of a strong disapproval. Um, and I think that's come back every now and day again. And I think it's been a difficult thing when I've said like, oh, you know, one of my hobbies is music and for someone who's interested or culturally interested, want to prod more, what type of music are you into? And you sort of say electronic music and most people's minds go towards club music. Um, but if it's gone as far as you, I have to try to explain what I like or even play something that I enjoy, most people haven't reacted that well to it, including my partner, probably to a degree. Uh, bless him, he's been absolutely fantastic and sort of forgiving in my musical interest. It's one of those pieces of music, the types of music that is really difficult to justify. I can't explain why I like it. I have some theories about it, which I would like to talk to you more about maybe we can talk a little bit about it today, but maybe a bit more uh, in next year's uh, videos at some point. I think it's to do with when there is a lot of random elements in uh, music um, that the brain tries to make sense of it all, trying to find patterns um even if there isn't a pattern i don't know about all the music that i listen to if it is um how generative it is and it's just something really challenging when you're not quite sure if there is a deeper meaning to it or if it is just um if it is just random. And I think for me that comes to comic books and films and there is just something incredibly appealing about it. And it's actually something that I would like to explore and look at together with you. Looking at those other mediums as well where this is sort of happening. So if you take things like Aphex Twin and Autechre, which are famous names that if you're watching this channel, you probably know about them. Um, Um, I still don't fully understand it, uh, why I like that sort of stuff. Um, and it's hard to explain. Sometimes I manage to convince myself that it's fine. It's fine to just like those things you don't have to explain them but 
where I feel it becomes slightly more controversial for me is when it starts to infringe on should we say your livelihood I took a big leap of faith uh, last year and decided to hand in my notice for my job uh, and it certainly has given me an opportunity to spend more time on music but I don't have a particularly commercial mind and therefore I think it has been difficult I've, I've felt guilt when I've spent time doing the music thing um, which I don't like um, so Therefore, your continued support, especially if you've been able to, I mean, it's, I can't live off my income, uh, my uh, income from this music making. I'm, I mean, the dream would be to be able to do that one day, but I'm not there yet. But every time anything from just someone's comment to uh, someone's actually supporting me with funds has me meant a huge amount for um, for me. It has felt a little bit easier to justify what I do. Um, and it's also helped with the people who don't understand the music that I'm interested in um, to give me a little bit more slack and not necessarily questioning it as um, as much and that's maybe a plan for next year to hopefully develop this a bit further um, and your input would be super valuable. I would also say that um, your input and comments like whether it's on Instagram or on YouTube or on Patreon has made this process far less um, solitary. And I think that's one of the beautiful things with the internet, that it just helps you find other people who are a little bit more like you. also like to do some more shout outs um i think definitely ned rush is someone else that i would like to mention because i think he has made a big difference to my music making process and i have followed his work for a very long time and i feel like this year is the first year when we're first starting doing some collaboration and I also feel like his exposure has done a lot to my channel uh, and again to that uh, solitary working process I feel that having made these videos and putting things on Instagram etc exposing my music sometimes warts and all and just being willing to um, make mistakes etc sort of in public has made me grow a lot faster I feel like I have developed musically um, 
quite a lot in the last few years and I would say that's something I would like to encourage you to do because I'm sure there are a lot more people out there who um, who are also just doing music at home they enjoy it um, but perhaps feel a little bit stuck and just getting people's feedback seeing what people get excited about even though if they don't say anything uh, likes and stupid things like that makes a difference uh, and that there are people out there that just care about what you do and the more you do it the more exposure you will get and the more people will care and just to receive my first Patreon or just receiving the first message from someone I don't know uh, has met, meant a great deal for my, shall we say, psychological well-being, I suppose. Um, so if you are a musician uh, and you feel like you need a bit of a confidence boost in what you're doing, stop posting it warts and all, it's fine, it's going to be okay. And then just learn from your mistakes that way. I got a very long way to go, but I've certainly made progress since I started this, a slightly more public way of um, music making. I am... Um, yeah, psychological well-being. I this is is my prejudice perhaps, but I think that um, depression or like it depends on where you where you personally draw the line between what when is something when is something depressing uh, or when are you depressed but I think for every creative person there are moments of doubt um, and I would encourage you to say to people right close friends family don't forget to just pat them on the shoulder if you think that they are good at something because it's so easy just to not not do that and those people may not actually realize that you really appreciate what they do um i don't know if i have that much more to say um this little track that i've made is Perhaps not that extraordinary uh, in any way, but I'll obviously put that up on my uh, Patreon as well. Um, and don't remember if you if you sign up if you are signed up on the second of January. And you send me a message. Don't remember, send me a message on Patreon when you're subscribed. Um, already, also, if you're already, if you're already a paying subscriber on my Patreon, send me a message on Monday. The first 10 who sends me a message will receive a download code for my album. Uh, I hope to be able to uh, make more interesting uh, videos for you um, in the new year uh, I'm really looking forward to that and also I haven't had that many sales quite frankly um, sort of one <laughs> of my merch so if you feel like you want to buy some um, uh, something from my store I'll put the link in the description um, just realize that I'm using the Valhalla reverb here which I'm going to remove because 
if you download this and you don't have it then it may ruin things so i've made this little ambient piece using ableton live 11 suite if you sign up to my patreon you can get this uh project file not much of a giveaway but there are lots of other stuff on my patreon uh if you're not already a subscriber that are you might find useful i shall make some new interesting things in the new year and hope to see you again have a super new year's eve and hope to see you again soon thank you let's fade this out <laughs> <laughs>